Well, here we are, uh, day one, our case study. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start getting this thing warmed up, uh, get it to operating temperature. We're gonna do uh, our compression testing, so we'll use mechanical gauge, and then we'll also use our picoscope to get relative compression. Uh, we'll do our horsepower and torque pulls, and then we will get uh, our blow-by readings with the picoscope as well. I think that's it for today anyways. Uh, first step, we're going to go ahead and get this thing started so it can start warming up. Battery. All right, now that we have battery power, we'll try this again. Well, we're ready to start initial compression. We'll first be using just a normal analog compression gauge. And then for a second set of testing, we'll be using a Pico scope with this little transducer. Um, get a more relative, more accurate compression with this, um, but it's best to have two forms of measurement. Um, and then from there, are we gonna go ahead and do blow-by after that as well? We're starting to pull everything apart to do compression. Take the engine cover off and pull some of these injector coils and spark plugs from underneath that. What we're hoping to see on this initial run is just where the compression is even at, if it's even, if there's one cylinder that's lower, um, stuff like that could cause small runnability problems, and that's what we hope to improve with an EPR service, um, just to even out compression. to even it out at a minimum and possibly improve it. Um, like I said, getting this first initial run will just kind of show us a baseline of where it's at and what we can do from there. Well, we just finished up the first initial testing with the analog gauge. Um, compression ranged from 165 all the way up to 180. So that's kind of what we want to see. There's a pretty good pressure range in there. Um, be exciting to see what EPR does if we can even it out. All right, so we just got finished with the uh, compression using an analog gauge. Um, now he's just gonna kind of do the same thing. He'll screw a, an adapter into the cylinder like he used with the analog gauge, but instead of hooking up to a gauge, he's gonna hook to our Pico scope, uh, which is just on the other side of the wall here. Um, and we will record on this screen uh, using the Pico scope to get a more accurate, like down to the 10th of PSI of uh, compression. 
So once he's done setting it all up, we'll start cranking. So we just finished up doing a uh, compression. Uh, we've got uh, the numbers we got out of our analog gauge, which we're just showing really just peak numbers on there. Um, I've got cylinder one pulled up here and kind of zoomed in on the uh, waveform that the Pico scope is showing us. Uh, doing it this way with the Pico scope, we're able to see kind of how the cylinder's drawing in air and building compression each stroke it has. Um, go in and we can see here that it's making around 193 and a half PSI uh, between 191 to like 195 on each stroke uh, with the analog gauge we're seeing. It's a, it's a little lower on the analog. The max we saw on it was 180. So, um, um, But that's more of what it kind of settles at. The analog gauge doesn't show you the peak. So when it peaks at the top, it'll max the gauge out and then come back to about where it's setting, where it's holding the pressure at. So this way we just see a little more of what's going on in the cylinder. A uh, little bit more data than just doing a regular gauge, but it's nice to have both of those numbers to show at the end. It's a little more accurate and repeatable than an analog gauge. Well, we just finished up compression. Gonna put the spark plugs back in it and get it ready for some, some power pulls and we'll test blow by. Well, now we're getting ready to test blow by. We'll end up doing that two different ways. Do the first set today while we're doing the horsepower and torque pulls, and then we'll test it again while we're doing the fuel consumption at a later day. Um, to get those results, we usually just go in through the dipstick tube. Just have a little adapter here that seals up in the hole plug that into the same transducer we used for the compression and then plug it in. That way um, we'll be able to see what the blow by is or if it goes from vacuum to pressure while we're doing a power pull. Um, see if at the higher RPMs with more boost, if the rings are leaking by letting that boost out of the cylinder and into the like oil pan, um, pressurizing the crankcase and all that. But, We'll go see how it does. Ready? The boost was only like a PSI off. That's good. So we're about to do our last uh, horsepower torque, torque pull. Uh, got our data logger running. We've got our logger running for the Plutron, measuring all the fuel consumption. And then uh, over here, we're just running some blow by testing with the Pico scope. Uh, it'll record any crankcase blow by as it's going through its wide open throttle pulls. Uh, ready to start. 